Hi, I am Marion Buricatu. I am a French and American artist and I am also an art teacher at the Hopkinton Center for the Art and a docent at the Worcester Art Museum. This video will make you an art expert in less than five minutes. Okay, so today we will be talking about the painting by Claude Monet called The Waterloo Bridge with my guest, who is my daughter, Domiti. Hi, Mom. Hello. <laughs> so we will be covering three facts that are very easy to remember. So can you share with us the three questions? Yes. So question number one is how many Waterloo paintings are there? Question number two is how did Monet paint in symphonies? And question number three is what does this have to do with the Wham, the Worcester Art Museum? So here is Claude Monet's painting called the Waterloo Bridge in London, painted in 1903. It belonged to the Worcester Art Museum. So let's start with question number one. How many Waterloo paintings are there? So that's quite a very interesting fact because what happened is that Monet painted 100 canvases of the Waterloo Bridge, the Charing Cross Bridge and the House of Parliament, but he only finished only finished 41 of them and only nine of them are in the US. And what makes those nine so important if there's 41 out there? Well, because what happened is that last year the museums who own these nine paintings in the US organized this beautiful exhibition. And so while we, as a docent, that we were preparing for the exhibition, and so I had the idea to guess what was the average price of an, uh, a Monet's painting. I went on internet and I found out that an average price for a, Monet, a Monet's painting is 40 million per painting. The exhibition had nine of them, which means that it makes a room that was worth $360 million. That's quite... A lot of money. Yes. <laughs> a very expensive room. And where can the nine paintings be found normally? So all these paintings can be found in uh, American museums like, uh, and also uh, American collections. So you've got some of them that are in Denver, Baltimore, Wellesley, and also our beloved Worcester Art Museum. All right, so question number two, what do you mean by a symphony of paintings? So another fact that is very interesting is that um, Monet used a limited color palette to create these 41 paintings. Each are different, but all together, they create a decorative unity, they, dec they create a symphony. And how did he do that? Well, what he did is that he painted the same bridge at different time of the day, and from the same view is hotel room. So here is one of his paintings, also called the Waterloo Bridge, Sunlight Effect, in French, Effet de Soleil, painted in 1903, and this painting is at the Denver Museum of Art. Okay, and the 41 paintings just are all of the Waterloo Bridge. And, as I said at the beginning, oh, right. the Charing Cross Bridge, and also the House of Parliament. Okay, but isn't painting 41 paintings of the three same things a little obsessive. Well, and especially when you think that in fact he did 100 of them. I think it's a little bit obsessional. I was so impressed by that, that as an artist I thought I'm gonna do the same thing, it's gonna be a great way to learn, I'm gonna do like many paintings of the same thing. And after two of the same thing, I was just done. Yeah, I would be. Yes. <laughs> Alright, and question number three. What does the Wham Worcester Art Museum have to do with Monet? Okay, so this is another fascinating fact, and we should be proud of that. The Worcester Art Museum bought the Waterloo Bridge only 12 years after the museum opened. He bought the Waterloo Bridge in 1910. That was just incredible. Why was it incredible? Well, because, so, the, the WAM opened in 1898. Mm -hmm. Uh, and here is a picture of museum when it was built. But you have to imagine that when you're a new museum, you don't have these beautiful collections of painting from the Renaissance. Okay, so you don't have so many painting and they have to invest in new painting. So what they did is that they invested in avant-garde painting because they were cheap. And no one wanted them, especially the Impressionist painting that nobody wanted to buy them in Europe, especially in, in France. And you have to imagine that this was a very risky investment. Interesting. So the Wham's risky investment paid off? Oh, yes, yes. And you know, when you buy avant-garde painting, you never know. I mean, it might be a wonderful investment or you might end up losing your money. 
And uh, the one more thing that I think is very interesting is that the one was the first American museum to buy a Monet painting. Yes, the first American museum to buy a painting by Monet. And by the way, the painting is still in its original frame, which is really more rare and super cool. <laughs> Very cool. Go see the museum. <laughs> okay, so here is a summary of the three facts that are easy to remember. All right, fact number one is that Monet painted 41 paintings and of the same thing, and only nine of them are in the U.S. Fact number two. Monet's limited color palette led to... Um, creating symphonies of his paintings, and when you see the nine all together in the same room, it makes sense how they all come together. And fact number three. The Wham was the first U.S. museum to buy a Monet painting, and Monet was considered a very risky investment at that time. So I hope that now you feel like you are an art expert in the Waterloo Bridge. And the next video is going to be just for you because we created some trivia questions to have fun about this, this video and you can have fun also you can share this, this trivia question with your friends and family bye bye